today I'm gonna do something I've never done before. You wanna come along? I'm anchored in one of the bays of the island, Rieros. There's a little marina here. And I'm gonna meet with a friend who works on the island. His name is Nika. Well, his name is actually Aina. Everybody calls him Nika because he's from Nicaragua. And he invited me to come along to organize some food. I think it's gonna be exciting. We're not going to the supermarket, but... Everything is blooming. So everything is still kind of green, but it's dry, as in no rain. And usually there's a nice breeze. Not today, that's why it's super hot. But the islands are really pretty right now. ¿Cómo estás? Ahí esa es la trampa. Sí, la estaba haciendo. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, Nica? La idea es ponerle, ponerle aquí que se, que se detenga. Por eso va lo, lo conce. Uh -huh. Después se le enreda el, la cuerda por allá, así y, lo, y se le pone una comida de los pájaros aquí. ¿Y qué comen? Eh, papaya y, y banano. <risa> ¿Dónde aprendiste a hacer una trampa así? Cuando estábamos en Nicaragua, caminábamos con mi papá haciendo todo tipo de trampa para agarrar ave, y conejo y puerco de monte. ¡Uh! Puerco de monte. Es rico. También, sí. ¿Y qué hiciste con tu papá? Bueno, lo, íbamos a la, a la mera montaña donde hay bastantes animales y, y era muy fácil. Como había tantos animales, Poníamos la trampa, los escondíamos un rato y llegábamos y mirábamos cuando caía y la seguíamos poniendo y atrapábamos varios por día. <risa> Pero trabajaste con tu papá. Sí. ¿Y qué hicieron por la, por la monte? Que las comprábamos la, y las traíamos al pueblo y echábamos hasta 30 y 40 vacas y tenía mucha fuerza cuando las alazábamos. ¿Y cómo los traían de, de la montaña? Traíamos en, en caballo. ¿Y cuántos Era... días se, se demoraron para, para recoger todas las vacas? No, ¿cómo, ¿Tú llamas las vacas como? Ganado. Ganado, ganado. Sí. Eh, cuando salíamos del pueblo hacia la montaña, caminábamos hasta tres días seguidos a, hasta lo más lejos. Y de ahí para acá veníamos recogiendo el ganado. ¿Y era duro? <risa> Demasiado fuerte. <risa> ¿Pero te gustaba el trabajo? Siempre me ha gustado y cuando vaya a Nicaragua eso es lo que voy a hacer ahorita que llegue. ¿Ah, sí? Sí, es como un deporte. <risa> <risa> un deporte y a la vez es algo bien. So what's really cool about this trap is basically he made it from little bamboo pieces that you can find on the beach and a little bit of twine that you can also find on the beach. And for bait, we're just gonna go and look for some papaya that's somewhere around here on one of the trees. So that's a pretty cool way of finding some food, huh? Okay, so now we've got this little trap set up here. Apparently the paisanos which are some wild birds. I think they're like pheasants. Uh, they're gonna walk through here and then hopefully in there. And then we're gonna trap them.
So now we set up the first little trap for the... I think they're pheasants. There's some wild birds here. And now we're gonna go to the beach <laughs> and look for iguanas. So... It's gonna be an interesting dinner tonight. Well, it was a lucky day for the paisanas, which seem to be called chachalacas in English. Nika decided that we still deserved a little rum and fresh coconut water for our efforts though. And who would say no to that? Unfortunately, Nika and I didn't catch anything the other day. So today we're gathering some more forces with Ruben and David, and we're gonna try again. Hola. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Un biombo. Ulera. <laughs> sí. ¿Y tú cómo lo llamas? Conda. Conda. O China. Sí, algo así. <laughs> Demasiadas palabras. ¿Y tú ya cogiste algo? Sí, aquí. La captura de, de hoy. Iguanita. ¿Y cómo sabes que es una hembra? Ah, por el color y por el tamaño. Ah, ok. El macho es mucho más grande y es más grisoso. ¿Más griso? Sí. ¿Más gris y la hembra más verde? Sí, es más verde. Ok. I'm starting to wonder if I might be bad luck for hunting land animals because even with the joint forces we came back empty-handed. Luckily, Ruben had caught an iguana early on that day that he was so kind to share with us. La tripa. Mm -hmm. Y le quito el cuero completamente. Y nada más queda pura carne, se, se pone a sacochar. Ah, oh, ok. Pero también los, los brazos? Sí. I have to admit that I was a little bit worried about the taste of this little bugger, but it was actually a really tasty stew that the boys made. Buen provecho. You might remember that I had gone through quite the battle to take my Wind Pilot Pacific apart some time ago. I have to admit that I had postponed putting the puzzle back together for a while now. But since I want to sail to Costa Rica soon, I think I should give it a go. And this turned out to be a project and a half in the end. But seeing all the dirt and corrosion that had built up over time, I can only recommend to service your Pacific wind wane every now and then. <laughs> this is a little bit like an IKEA shelf experience. I have this boat left over and I don't know, well, who knows where it came from. Maybe it wasn't even part of the vein and it just miraculously found its way in there. But I ticked off all the bolts and nuts and whatnot that are in the explosion diagram and I'm missing two. I'm missing number 131 and I'm missing one of the 261. But so far it's functioning, so <laughs> maybe I can do without, I don't know. It looks all right to me and it turns, so this, I don't know, probably missing somewhere else. <laughs> Tried everything with this wind vane, everything. I soaked it, I banged it, I put a whole lot of like corrosion blaster liquids on it. I don't know what. There are a lot of things. It's just not coming off. So now I built this. <laughs> it's not very good, but it's a little fuller. <laughs> like a DIY fuller. So I'm going to try and um, pull that thing off. See if that works. 
Okay, so there's four bolts outside and they're gonna press this together and then there's this big guy that presses against the middle. And then if everything goes well, this is gonna squish it off. Obviously my little nifty five minute plywood pulley did not work because it's just too soft and the washer was just being pushed in here. So now I got the real machinery from Maria. I'm a little worried though because also this is, you know, now a lot different force that we're talking about. I'll look five times into the manual again to see if I missed some kind of Set screw something. Okay. Gotta try. Very, very gentle. A little metal guy that pushes down against the shaft was just going into the Teflon or Marlin or whatever it is. So I put some metal washers around it to increase the pressure, but it's just insane. Why is that so stuck? I don't get it. It's coming. It's coming off, but that's just crazy. That's just crazy. You little shit. Huh? What's up your It's already starting. The 113 that I need for this is missing. And then this one kind of fits in there. But it's the 334. I guess you can use Tef Gel or Lana Coat for insulation between the aluminum and the stainless. I read about it and saw some test results that apparently the lana coat is working a little better and it's natural so that's what I'm going for here but you can also use tap gel. This little arm is pointing towards the side where it's written wind pilot. Okay, that's really important. Okay, I'm really not sure what happened when I pinned down these things, but there's these two guys left. And this one apparently is for the, where the rudder goes into the shaft. And this one says 270, which is completely wrong because 270 is already mounted. <laughs> but what I'm still missing is number 113. So this one that apparently goes into the bottom part actually fits in perfectly here. And this one fits perfectly into the bottom part. So I'm just gonna... Okay, now comes the <clears throat> trickiest part because this guy has to be very straight whilst this guy has to be on 12 o'clock, which I do believe he is. so sweet and he sent me a new rod for the wind wind because mine look like this all bonkers <laughs> right so got a new one 
I think Beta has gotten about 50,000 emails from me asking him questions. He really does do great support. Now the wind vane has to be straight whilst it's connected to the bevel gear down there. And I just found out that this is actually aligning with this guy. Look at that. So I'm just going to lock it. Ha! No, that is a good idea. That looks pretty, pretty straight, no? Okay, so now we want to have the 153 and 156 tight first. Okay, now that it's tight, I'm supposed to loosen it about an eighth of a turn. I made a mistake. The mount that goes on to the boat has two different sides. One is longer than the other. There's a 50-50 chance. I didn't even think about it, but I took the wrong 50. Now that Lady Pacific is back in place, I think I should go sailing to try it out, right? But more about that. Soonish.